Today I'm going to be showing you how I use Notion as a research lab notebook. I am currently a PhD student, so this is how I'm using Notion to organize my PhD research, but you can also use this template if you're an undergrad student doing research or if you're a research professional. I have been using Notion for years now. I personally love how customizable it is and how I can make my templates for whatever functionality I need. So I had a lot of fun creating this lab notebook because I needed something that was simple and visual for tracking all of my research work. So let's get started. So at the top of the dashboard, we have the project-based lab notebook page, the literature review page, the data management plan page, and the protocols. So first, before we go into the project-based lab notebook, I'm going to just go over the more simpler pages first and then dive into how I use different databases to create my notebook. So first, we have the literature review page. This is just a simple page that I included some resources of how to do a literature review. And then we have the database for literature review. So here you can simply create a new entry, put the title in, you can label it with the topic, you can identify the knowledge gap, or any other major points that you look for when re you're reviewing papers. I personally include all of these things when I'm looking at papers, but depending on your field, you might need to change these things and you can simply do it by editing the property. And then you can also link the file as well. Now I have heard that some people have used Notion with their Zotero app. This is a free reference manager and you can integrate it using Notero, which is a free open source plugin for Notion. I personally do not use this, but I've heard a lot of other people really like to use it. So I included the link here if that's something you would like to set up. So now we go back to the home page, and then if we just go on to the data management plan, I personally think having a data management plan is something that people often overlook if your lab doesn't already have one. So I think it's important to just have your plan readily available, visible to you, so then you can keep track of your data in a streamlined way. So I included some resources here as well, but you can basically just type in whatever you need for your data management plan here. So now if we go to the home page. This is where we have today's tasks and experiments, and then this week's tasks and experiments. And then these databases pull from your master database down here. So anything that's labeled with today is going to pop up here. Anything that's labeled for this week is going to pop up here using all of the information that you import down at the bottom. So the one thing that I have set up with this template is that everything links together. So you have your tasks that are going to link to your project-based lab notebook, and that's also going to link to your protocols. So I think to go over this, I'm just going to show an example of how this works. So then you can get an idea for how everything connects together. So let's just say I need to do more 3D printing today. Let's just say 3D printing, and I need to do it for project B. And then the goal is to just print new devices. And the day, due date is, let's say, the 20th. So I have this task that I need to do, and today, let's say, is August 20th. So what I'll do is I go to my project-based lab notebook, and this is where I have the chronological notebook. So when I go into the lab, I create an entry for every day that I'm working because I like to see everything in chronological order, but I also like to see everything viewed as a project based. So let's say today is August 20th, August 20, 2022, I'm working on project B. And as I said before, today I need to 3D print more stuff. So this is where I can click this linked column and I can see, oh, I need to do more 3D printing. So I click 3D printing and now my task from the main dashboard is linked with my archive. So when I go back months from now and I look, oh, what did I do on August 20th? Or when did I 3D print? I can see on August 20th, I did that task and it's all right here and it's linked together. And then I can add any additional notes from that day. 
including findings, next step, data, and I can link to any protocols that I use. Because for me, a lot of my protocols will change periodically, and I want to know when I used a specific protocol for a specific experiment on a certain day, and that's where I can link, oh, I used the th standard 3D printing protocol on this day when I did 3D printing for this project. So now everything is all linked together. So if we go back to the home page, you can see, oh, 3D printing, this task occurred on this lab notebook entry day. So I like how I can link the task and experiment to my lab notebook entry, but then I can also see any days that I used a specific protocol. So if I want to go back and see, oh, when did I use this protocol, all of my lab notebook entries are going to be there, and then I can go back and see any relevant notes, any specific findings for that day. I can always go back and find my paper trail of how I did a certain experiment or a certain task. So I really like this linking system. I think it's a streamlined way of keeping everything organized because I have so many tasks and experiments that I'm working on in parallel. So right now in this template as is, I don't have any filtering or sorting set up because I feel like this is something that's very personal to whatever type of visualization you want to have with your databases. You can easily filter by any of your different properties in your database. So let's say if you don't want all of your tasks that are already completed to be popping up, on your master table, you can filter those out, or you can sort by the date that's due or by the project. So I think that there's a lot of different ways that you can customize these databases, and I think that's gonna need to be specific to however you want to have it visualized. You can also add different views here by clicking the plus and creating a different table, a board, a timeline, calendar, whatever type of visualization you want to have. I personally like using the boards and the master table, but that's just how I like to do it. So I know there are a lot of different ways that you can use Notion. This is just the way that I'm using it. I would love to hear how you guys are using Notion to organize your lab related tasks or your lab notebooks. So let us know in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. If you want this template, I am offering it both on my Etsy and my Gumroad page. Both of those links are in the description box below. I also use Notion in a lot of different ways just for organizing my graduate school life since I'm working with coursework, I'm working with research, manuscript writing, and so much more. So I plan to post more on my channel about how I'm using Notion for graduate school. So if you're interested in seeing those things, like this video and give me a subscribe so then you guys can be up to date on when I post those videos. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye!